Aren't you going to answer it? Kendall, I know it's you. You want to talk to the boys? They're not here. You want to talk to me? I am here. Finally got the guts to talk to me? Go ahead. Nothing? All right. Don't come back here. There's nothing here for you. Too damn late. Let me stay. I'll get on the stand and I'll tell only the truth. And nothing but. The truth is... I love you. Well, Bailiff, escort this man from the court. This isn't your job. Well, someone should be doing it. Careful, Mr. Willis. Mr. Chandler is your only other witness, ready to testify under oath. Are you sure you want him removed? What should I do? You can't ask the judge for advice. It's abundantly clear you have no idea what you're doing, but I admire your effort. I can't tell you what choice to make, but let me tell you this. One of the first rules of lawyering, don't get caught by surprise. And if you do, don't show it. You've been caught by surprise. But don't let it distract you from the outcome you wish. So, you have a choice. You can call Mr. Chandler to the stand, or you can rest your case. Put me on the stand. Since we're winging it, I'd like a recess so the hyphenate and I may approach the bench, if that's all right with you. Sounds like a good idea. Recess granted. All you have to do is admit the truth. Just say the words, and you won't have to go back. He did this. He's done it before. Me anymore. A typical bid for attention with a brand new audience. Show's over. Madison, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. You're free to leave, but we're taking your daughter to the station. Hello? Hello? Hello, who is this? What's going on? You've been busy. It's quite amazing that you um, were able to make a phone call while you're tied up. Who'd you call, Kendall? First you call Zach, and then you call Ryan. What, Zach didn't want to talk to you? Don't worry, I'm calling them. I'm going to keep calling them until I get to go home. You know what? I can't understand what you're saying. I'll take that off if you promise not to scream. Is that better? I won't be better until I am home with Zach and my boys. It's a shame he hung up on you. Why are you doing this, Aiden? I need to go home. I need Zach. Wow, that's very demanding. You haven't been taking your pills, have you? You know what this means, Kendall. We have to go back to the chloroform. Don't, Aiden, please, please don't do this. Don't do this. Wait, were you looking out the door? You think, you think Zach's going to burst through here and, and rescue you? It's not going to happen. Just let me go home. What makes you think Zach wants you home? Well, he doesn't know the truth. Your mother seemed pretty convinced. I'm sure she passed along what you told her yesterday. You made me say those things. You made me convince her that we're having an affair. But Zach knows my heart. <sighs> Zach knows that he is the only man that I love. All the emails that I sent him from, from the church <sighs> and from the boarding house. Yeah. Yeah. What, you read those? 
You intercepted them? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't all today. So Zach never got any of them? What, so Zach thinks this is real? Zach, Zach thinks Zach, that Zach's you and I Zach's not gonna admire. forgive you for, for sleeping with me. Well, you're wrong. You're wrong. Zach has forgiven me before. It took him a long time, but Zach forgave yeah. me. Not this time. 